Hi, the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian here on Thursday, August 8th. Well, it's been a few weeks since we've taken a look at the sun. The sun, of course, is crucially important. It's the main driver of all weather and climate here on Earth. And it's about to undergo a major change. The magnetic field is about to go under a flip, a reversal that occurs regularly during the peak of every solar cycle. So approximately every 11 years or so, right during the midpoint of the solar maximum part of the solar cycle phase, it undergoes a magnetic reversal. The northern pole reverses from negative to positive, and the south pole goes from positive to negative. And this is about to occur. Recent observations that NASA has received indicate that the North Pole may actually have already begun to flip in its polarity from uh, negative to positive. And the South Pole is probably a, a couple of months away, but the whole process looks like it'll occur over the next three or four months. And that'll mark the midpoint of the solar maximum with half of it done and half of it yet to come and the midpoint of solar cycle 24 which began about four years or so following a long solar minimum period the sun remains on the quiet side there's only a few different sunspot regions right now and it uh, continues to underwhelm continues to be on a pace to be the weakest solar cycle in perhaps a hundred years or so and this continues a trend of weaker and weaker solar cycles over the last 20 years or so and this is of course a crucially important potential cause of uh, cooling and global temperatures we've had some cooler uh, uh, temperatures across the globe over the last few years and we'll continue to monitor that perhaps as a result of the weaker and weaker solar cycles perhaps also related to some oceanic cycles that we'll also talk about in a minute or two so again here's the very latest Look at the sun, there's a sunspot region right here, a couple others in this region right here, and one now rotating on the sun right in this region right here. All this is rotating in this fashion, but the bottom line here is that the sun continues to be rather quiet considering the fact that it is in solar maximum time period, and uh, there were expectations of some uh, certainly more activity on the sun with respect to sunspot regions than what has been occurring over the last several weeks or so. Again, the uh, North Pole region and the South Pole region are in a, a process of flipping, um, and this is a regular occurrence. It does not typically have any kind of a major impact on Earth. It may have uh, some impact on cosmic rays that affect the planet, but for the most part, it's, it's nothing serious. It's a regular occurrence that occurs during the peak of every solar cycle. Well, here's the latest look at the sunspot number uh, for solar cycle 24. We're about in this region right here. This is the uh, middle part of 2013. There was uh, perhaps the, the peak occurred right in this region right here. There is some school of thought that believes the uh, actual solar maximum may have occurred back in this region. There's also a theory that we could have a double peak with uh, some kind of a peak in the latter part of 2013, maybe in 2014. The bottom line is it's a weak cycle, perhaps the weakest since about 1906, more than 100 years ago. And again, it continues a trend of weaker and weaker cycles. We see on here the uh, solar cycle uh, 23, which peaked back in around the year 2000. And the one prior to that was strong, stronger than this particular one. So three in a row now continues a downtrend of weaker and weaker solar cycles. There already are some solar uh, scientists predicting that the next solar cycle, number 25, will be even weaker than this current cycle, number 24. Well, here's an even longer range look at the uh, monthly average sunspot numbers for uh, recent solar cycles. Here we are right here, 2013 solar cycle 24. Here's the prior one, 23 and 22. Again, the trend is for weaker and weaker solar cycles. Some scientists and research indicate that this can lead to uh, cooling global temperatures. And indeed, we have had a trend in the last few years of uh, cooling global temperatures. We'll take a look at uh, an oceanic cycle that could also be playing a role here. The interesting aspect here is that at the same time we have these weaker and weaker solar cycles, the northern Pacific Ocean is undergoing a, a, a transition to a colder phase, a negative phase. We track that with an index called Pacific Decadal Oscillation. We'll look at that in a moment. But again, 
a weaker and weaker trend here in the solar cycles 24 and again there are some predictions that solar cycle 25 could even be weaker than the current cycle number 24. Now we have had some periods in our uh, relatively recent history going all the way back to the 1600s of uh, long periods of solar inactivity perhaps four or five decades long and all of those periods tend to have cool temperatures on a global scale. Here there was a period called the Dalton Minimum of uh, weak solar cycles for a couple of decades. Here back in the 1800s, it was cold glo uh, globally speaking. And before that, um, uh, an even more dramatic case here, the Maunder Minimum back in the 1600s into the 1700s. That period is now known as the Little Ice Age. Again, we had about four or five decades, 40 or 50 years of uh, very little in the way of sunspot activity on the sun. So it's something that's important to monitor. We continue to monitor here at the SIweather.com. And again, we are in a weak solar cycle, perhaps the weakest one in 100 years. Well, I mentioned up front how the sun is crucially important to all weather and climate on Earth. That combined with oceanic cycles really dictate what goes on in terms of weather and climate. And the largest ocean, of course, is the Pacific Ocean. And a few years ago, it slipped into a negative phase here. This is a plot from NOAA that shows the Pacific Decadal Oscillation. This is just an index that meteorologists use to track the northern Pacific sea surface temperature anomalies. It slipped into a negative or cold phase a few years ago, and sure enough, over the last uh, several years, since the uh, PDO flipped from positive to negative, we've had a, a trend of uh, downward in terms of global temperature. So that could be combining with the weaker and weaker solar cycles. It's a little hard to say uh, what uh, uh, percentage is related to the sun or what percentage of the decline is related to the uh, oceanic cycle in the Pacific Ocean. But we'll continue to monitor all of this over the next several months here at the SIweather.com. So again, the sun remains quiet. It is undergoing a magnetic pole reversal, which is a normal phenomenon that occurs during the peak of solar cycles every 11 years or so, and that should occur over the next three or four months. That's it for now for the SIweather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.